like we just said, uh, hydronium and hydroxide, those, those negative exp exponents are a bit awkward. Uh, and it took uh, this this gentleman by the name of Soren Sorensen, about 1910, so almost 100 years ago, uh, actually a little bit more than 100 years yeah. ago now, he created a pH scale to make understanding acids and bases easier. Okay, good. Uh, and he calls it the power of hydrogen scale. So the reason why we have a lowercase p and a capital H is because the H stands for the hydrogen, hydrogen ion. Hydrogen ion, okay. So he's talking about the power of the hydrogen ion. All right. When he talks about pH. Okay. All right. And this uh, this scale uses logarithms as an index. We're not going to get into teaching what a logarithm is. Okay. But we do need a calculator that has a log button on it. Just using it. Okay. So if you don't have a calculator, well, actually, bring your calculator to class, guys, because if you don't, yeah. you kind of be out of luck trying to calculate this stuff. Yeah. Okay, the calculation for pH is rather simple. The negative log of the hydronium ion concentration. If you have the hydronium ion concentration, you take the negative log of it and you get the pH. Lower pHs are going to represent hydro higher hydronium ion concentrations. Well, that would make sense because the more hydronium ion concentration you have, the more acidic it is, and acidity is at the lower end of the pH scale. Right. So the more hydrogen ions are, the closer to the zero you get. Here's the pH scale that... Uh, Soren came up with. Oh, so some common substances can fall in the pH scale, yeah? Yeah, anything can fall in the pH right. scale, because any substance, remember, uh, Bronsted and Lowry defined it for most substances. Yeah. Uh, and notice the cool chart here. Red represents acid, blue represents base, just like... Violet, to, yeah, mm -hmm. just like we did in that mom demo. Okay, mom demo, or even with the litmus paper. Holy mackerel, uh, carbonated beverages at 3.0, that's kind of acidic. Yeah, that's kind of acidic, so when you're doing that, when you're drinking carbonated beverages, you're actually wearing out your teeth a bit, yeah? Yeah, holy mackerel. Of course, uh, orange juice does about the same thing. Yeah. Right, lemon, lemon juice. juice is just as bad, even worse. There's your stomach acid around 1.6. So things to notice here, guys. The more acidic things tend to be more towards the left-hand side of the scale, which are closer to zero. Things that are closer to 14, on the other hand, are more basic. Bases can hurt you just as bad as acids yeah. can. So, uh, ask me the question. Oh, Mr. Kane, if that's the general computation for calculating pH from hydronium ion concentration, what if they give you pH and they want hydronium ion. Well, that's pretty simple. We use another equation. Uh, we're not going to do the math to teach you how the equations derive, but it's right here. The hydronium ion concentration is calculated by taking 10 to the power of the negative pH. Okay. Okay. So it's just an algebraic manipulation. Yeah, and uh, not everybody's going to have done logarithms yet in math necessarily, so they don't even have to do algebra. It's just a matter of plugging and chugging in your calculator. Okay. Know these two equations and you can use them. So let's try a couple out, Miss G. Okay. Okay. Uh, hey, look, it's just exactly what I asked you about. Matter of fact, guys, I think that you should probably try this out and make sure you know how to use your calculator. Okay. If you don't, when you come into class tomorrow, that should be the first thing we talk about. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, so the pH of 2.37. All right, now the log and the anti-log are the same key on my calculator. So in order to solve for the hydronium ion, hydronium ion, if I remember right, was 10 to the power of the negative 2.37. So right, so 10 right. to the power of negative 2.37. Some people like to put in 10 caret negative 2.37. So the hydronium ion concentration is 0 0.0043 All right. molar. Which is about what I got here. Yeah. 4.27 times 10 negative third. That's the same as 0 0.00427 okay. that you said. Okay, now they're giving you the hydronium ion concentration and want pH, correct? Right, so pH should be equal to the negative log of... 12.0 times 10 to negative 12. Now that's a very small concentration, so I'm going to assume a relatively high pH. I think so, yeah. 10.92. That's what I got also. Awesome. Should All we right. try out two more? Yeah, let's try it. 
Mm -hmm. Alright. A lot of rolls. So if the pH is 11.05. If that pH is 11.05, that's slightly that's, basic. That sounds like a base to me. Right. So I'd have a small quantity of the hydronium ion, right? Right. So okay. I'm expecting to do 10 I'm to the negative 11.05 yeah. power. And I get, yep, small quantity, 8.91 times 10 to the negative 12 molar. Yeah, that's about as small as you get there, yeah? Those, it's those pretty close. Those have units too, don't forget, Mr. King. Okay, I'll add the units right Please. now. Molar. Molar, yep. Molar. Concentration has units, pH does not. And finally here? A pH one again, because they're giving me the hydronium ion concentration. Right, so it's molarity. All right. So we want to do the negative log of 4.5 times 10 to the negative fourth. And that's going to be 3.3, 3.35, mm -hmm. and no units for pH. Now, are we going to do a standard here, Miss G? pH always has two units past the decimal? Yeah, let's do that. That's going to be the easiest. It's not okay. the real rule, but that is going to be the easiest rule. Because sig fig rules get a little messy yeah, when you're doing messy. logarithms. Two digits right of the decimal, end of story. Beautiful. Perfect. Mm. All right. Now, since there's a such thing as pH... There's obviously such thing as POH. Yeah, you don't, you don't pronounce that as poo. <laughs> I wouldn't have, but now I'm going to be stuck. Every, every time I look at it, I think of poo or po. Uh, All right, but it's it's P O H, so okay. it's, it's it stands for power of hydroxide ion, uh, according right. to Svant. And P O H is calculated the same as P H, only hydroxide ion concentration is used in place of the hydronium ion concentration. So the same mechanics. It's just that it's the hydroxide and the P O H you're getting, or the P O H and the hydroxide. Okay. Right, and there's. Another one more trick. So we've got two equations for pHs. Okay. We got two equations for pOHs. Right. And there's another equation that's fairly useful, um, and that is if you add the pH to the pOH, you always get exactly 14.00 at 25 degrees Celsius. So if you have one of those, you can calculate the other one real simple 14 minus. Yeah, without using a calculator. It's ah, just 14 awesome. minus that, and you got the other one. Okay, so you don't have to go through all that negative log-y kind of stuff if you already have one of those. Exactly, yeah. Got it. It's a neat short. It's, nice. a, quick, it's a quick shortcut. Nice little shortcut. Like it.